Hello guys, Revit Advisor here with you today and I'm going to be talking about Cut Profile feature in Revit. There are times that you may need to remove part of plasterboard from your plan view. So let me zoom in this floor plan view I specifically prepared for this video. As you can see this could be an MEP riser or an elevation shaft and I don't want to have plasterboard inside the shaft. So what I need to do, I need to go to the view tab and press cut profile button. But before doing that, I need to prepare my walls. And when I say prepare my walls, I mean disallow joints and move them to the correct location. So let me demonstrate this for you. So if I click on the wall, drag it, right click, disallow join. And when I drag it back, I need to make sure that I go past the plasterboard, just like so. So these, the exact same procedure needs to be done for this wall as well. So if I click on it, drag it, right click, disallow join, and when I drag it back, I need to make sure I go past the plaster port just like so. So now I'm ready to press cut profile button. So once I've done that, I need to click on the plaster board. So now I'm in the sketch mode. Now I need to draw a little sketch line. Just like so. Press escape a couple of times. And this arrow indicates what part of the plasterboard is going to be left. So this part of the plasterboard is going to be removed, which is what we want. When I press finish, I got what I want. So the exact same procedure needs to be done for this wall as well. So when I go if I go to the view tab, press cut profile button, click on the plasterboard draw a little sketch line, press escape a couple of times and you can see this arrow is directed uh, to the wrong direction so I need to press on it and change the direction just like so. Click finish and as you can see there is no plasterboard inside the shaft which is what I want which means that the job is done. Thank you for your attention and please subscribe to my channel.